What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 5 of my West Brom FIFA 17 career mode series. And from now, you guys know I've stopped my Manchester United career mode so I can solely focus on this. That means I'm going to be uploading uh, videos every single day. Even sometimes I might and try and do a double upload. So if you would like to see that, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. So yeah, focusing what we have here, this is our current youth squad. Uh, just the updates on Sam Murphy, Jerome Richard, who was the scout, a future star. So uh, we've got decent talents. And coming from that as well, Manchester United series, I obviously would get a lot of youth players over the course. And I've got to change my expectations a bit. Maybe some youth players that wouldn't have been good enough for Manchester United, they'll still be good enough for West Brom. But we are doing fairly well. We are in third position so far. It's not too bad for West Brom. And we've got Sunderland here, so you would expect us to get the result. And here we're actually going to use the classic kit. I unlocked that. So, yeah, let me know if you would like to see me use that more or just every so often. Uh, yeah, just let me know. Obviously, it wouldn't be realistic to use it, but just to change it up every so often uh, to keep the interest, I suppose, just freshen it up something different uh, like I said but we are going to head into this game now uh, Sunderland they're actually the worst defensive team take a look at that 15 goals again so if we don't score a goal in this game I'm gonna be very disappointed though we do have an early chance here 20 minutes into the game Mbappe who started his career at West Brom very very well Robson Canu trying to uh, take advantage of the chance he has with Rondon injured but he'll come back uh, soon he'll play the last game in this episode but Fletcher lays it off to Livermore and we are struggling to find the back of the net in this game we're having some chances here and there so we're gonna look to freshen up with some changes uh, you can see Leko he's a good impact sub to bring on we're seeing Chadley or Phillips I think Phillips uh, he's a similar type both pacey uh, but Chadley he Maybe can take a good free kick. More technically gifted player. But here, Livermore, he's going to play it off to Zacharia, who's just come on, and he scores. How about that for a super sub? Especially considering his attributes. You know, in training, we're working to improve his finishing shot power, all of that, because it's still pretty poor. So it really will be pretty interesting to see the kind of central midfielder he will develop into. He's another one we're going to focus on in terms of development and everything like that. Of course, Mbappe is a lot of hype around him. And we're actually going to find him here. And he's going to score a crazy goal. That is insane. I didn't even turn. I took the shot and he turned himself. Because normally, if you take a shot in that situation... Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be good, but he just had he just did it himself. There's no other way to explain that. I took the shot there uh, before actually turning. He just... Yep, turned himself, uh, took the shot, absolutely amazing. Like, if you uh, tried to do that with a guy uh, that is maybe not as good, maybe would have stuffed that up, and you got to give credit to his finishing as well. So, yeah, just got to see that as an amazing goal, really. I did not expect to score with him. As soon as I took that shot, uh, yeah, I was really surprised how accurate it was with him. Just shows you his talent. But we are able to win uh, this game, which, yeah, wasn't a question. Like, this one I was confident. But it's the coming games against bigger teams. As I said, we've got to look to uh, see how we can do against them, like lower teams in the league around relegation zone or mid-table. Uh, we've been able to get decent results for the most part. The bigger teams, top four teams, is what we've got to um, put ourselves, like that's our challenge. We've got to put our, um, put, you need to always set challenges uh, for yourself. Even if you're doing well, we're second in the table, but it's that fact. We haven't played a top four team, so uh, that's going to be our next goal. But it's a kind of scary prospect if we do all right, get a couple wins, something like that, and then we're going to settle in a top four position we could almost be top of the table by the end of this episode though uh, just if we get the results <laughs> yeah we can't get too ahead of ourselves but again uh, just simulating these training drills uh, we did have a couple uh, just because of uh, the extra uh, break international break and Zacharia he is really training well especially on that one on two defending especially that slide tackle want to get that up a bit because uh, like the type of player he is he does strike me as more a defensive midfield especially uh, the lack of finishing and other shooting attributes uh, but then yeah looking at his uh, tackling they're all right but it's not amazing but exactly uh, like I'm going to show you guys here there is just 
all our games so far. We haven't beaten a top four good team, really. Essentially, uh, that is <laughs> that is the situation we are in. So it's right now though. Now is the time we've got to do that. Here's the challenge. We're going to get into this game against Spurs and let's see if they're going to be better than other opponents. We haven't won every single game. We still lost and yeah, maybe... Uh, could have got even better results, but yeah, I can't really complain how we're going for West Brom. Uh, they take a shot from range, but already in this first half, I can tell uh, Spurs are kind of controlling the game a little bit. You can't tell it so much from the highlights. Of course, Mbappe, again, showing his confidence, taking a strike from there. Well, it's more that I had confidence in him, but again, it's not the best defending there, and they could have almost made us pay, uh, but luckily for us, they didn't. Uh, but again, 65 minutes through, no goals in this game, but Robson can can we get the breakthrough now? He plays in Mbappe, and he is able to find the back of the net there. He cannot be stopped uh, with his quality and confidence right now, especially around the box. Take a shot. Yeah, you're going to put your money on him for him to find the back of the net as he does there. Look at that strike. Absolutely amazing to beat the goalkeeper from there. I thought, yeah, maybe you could have saved it, but the power and the accuracy behind that was absolutely amazing from Mbappe. I just wanted to show the extra highlight there so you can see the manager celebrating also. You can see another player there. That's that young goalkeeper we signed. So, yeah, Mbappe, now he scored five in the Premier League. I reckon he could aim for 20 Premier League goals. That would be amazing in his first season here, uh, considering how young he is. And here he's going to play it off to Phillips. He's in some space. He tries the shot. But then a late sliding tackle from Ben Davis comes in. And that is a penalty. He didn't have to do that, obviously, because he committed for the tackle. Maybe it was a good thing I took that shot uh, quickly before he did. And then we're won a penalty and we can finish off this game only about 10 minutes remaining walker's picked up an injury for them as well nasa chadley is able to find the back of the net there to really make sure of this result so my question has been answered in this first game against spurs at least unless something crazy happens in the final 10 minutes here um yeah i can't really uh, see us uh, losing the points it will be crazy so yeah 90 minutes through just Playing out time, Chris Brunt come off the bench here. I haven't given him uh, really too much game time as he's getting older. He's declining in his attributes. I want to get the shot off uh, with him there as I know he's a good long shot taker. But yeah, the game was over at that point. Uh, Spurs did have some chances, but in total, uh, we had more on target. Um, double, actually. Uh, so we, we were the better team over the course. They had a little bit more possession, but we were able to take our chances that we did have and, of course, defend the chances uh, Spurs had so we have got another game coming up that will be the final game so I will try and get a lot of games in episodes or I say a lot but as many as I can depending on uh, what yeah, other things are going on in the episodes but I will try and get at least three from now on when we're outside of transfer windows and all of that so uh, we've got again a decent break between the next game so players aren't going to be tired so uh, like it's almost a blessing in disguise we are not in any other competitions uh, like Europe obviously West Brom is not in Europe and we yeah we got knocked out of the EFL Cup and the benefit of that is we're not playing so many games and um, that's the thing because we have a strong starting 11 and and then maybe the substitutes as well, a few decent guys. But outside of that, yeah, the team is not really strong. We brought in two Anzabay centre back, uh, but again, we don't have so many amazing players. If you compare like the best starting eleven, our best players to maybe some of the reserves, uh, yeah, there's a really, really big difference if you compare to other teams expected uh, to be around the top four. And here we go, Liverpool, another big game here. So uh, let's get ready. But obviously, the two dangers for us, the uh, two over. 80 overalls uh, you can see Mbappe and Rondon that clearly like when you're analyzing a team you can see yeah that's our, our most dangerous part of our lineup and once more we score another goal but this is actually an own goal uh, for Liverpool Mbappe is celebrating unfortunately it's not going to go down as a goal but yeah he's going to go down with that tackle from Nyon but anyway you can see their own goal uh, from Matip so uh, he's actually scored zero goals in the Premier League, but he's got an own goal uh, to his name. Uh, maybe a thing you'd see from uh, Liverpool centre-backs, <laughs> just to name someone Jamie Garragher. But uh, Rondon is taken down there in the penalty spot. It was just, though, because he was uh, going away from it, but then clever. So their centre-backs are not having a very, very good day. Own goal. 
penalty conceded. Uh, Ron Dunn, he is uh, back uh, fit and firing. And of course, Nasser Chadley, who else? He's going to take the penalty, but it's saved. Should finish here. He doesn't. What a double save there from the Liverpool keeper. Fletcher had a chance, but was blocked really, really well. So uh, that was a very important uh, piece of play by their keeper there because once more would have made it 2-0 from the penalty. And then, yeah, game. Well, it was very early to be over. And Firmino, he changes all of that. That is what I mean here. We could have made it 2-0, but they score, equalize, and the game is up for grabs once more. So, yeah, it's always interesting how that happens. And it happens sometimes. A team misses a chance, <laughs> a penalty, and then the other team uh, goes on and scores. That was a perfect uh, strike as well, just going away from the keeper into the corner from Roberto Firmino, who finally... Uh, breaks his duck and scores his first Premier League goal of the season. Uh, but I'm not going to be giving up there. We're going to be trying to get that lead back. Livermore opens up some space, plays it across to Rondon. He's back from his injury and he's back on the score sheet. And yeah, definitely we're playing uh, much better with two strikers. We started, um, obviously, we played the one striker. It was the 4-4-1-1 we started with because we played the attacking midfielder. But, yeah, two strikers having Rondon, um, Rondon if I can pronounce his name properly. <laughs> yeah, Rondon and Mbappe up top is just, yeah, so dangerous. And here, just look what happens. For whatever reason, I started controlling the goalkeeper. I don't know why. Whatever happened in that tackle, it triggered something in the game for me to control the goalkeeper. And I was like, "What? Can, grab. You can't... There's no grab button or catch in the control because you're not supposed to be controlling the goalkeeper in the game you can but yeah that's not what we're doing here we're playing career mode uh, we're controlling the team not the goalkeeper this so i've no idea why that happened i was just as soon as that happened when i tried to make that challenge it changed to the goalkeeper and like i said how can you catch the ball when you're controlling the goalkeeper and because i i haven't even played with the goalkeeper in fifa ever i don't think maybe once in the history <laughs> as that was in the game um yeah since i was in the game so yeah obviously yeah, i just tried and clear that but yeah, he stuffed up and not much more you can say about that i just tried to go more attacking so i felt like what well, 2-2 two -two is decent if we got a draw here we'll be all right but if i felt like a uh, a mistake it felt like injustice like we're not supposed to be um, like a draw right now we should be winning uh, we should be in the lead so Henricks plays it to Mbappe and guess what he's gonna do here of course finish the goal and it just felt right again just shush to those Liverpool supporters who got excited uh, when they scored that goal <laughs> but we made it 3-2 and we should uh, be holding on to three points here if nothing else goes wrong. We already had one terrible thing go against us uh, defensively. So that uh, speaks volumes as well. We're able to get past that and uh, look like to get three points here. Very, very good. So yeah, 90 minutes. We even have a late chance here. Robson Canu couldn't quite get past there, unfortunately. Emre Charm, uh, Leko intercepts him. They're just playing it around at the back here. Not enough time left for Liverpool to do something with that. So uh, we're able to uh, fight past that again. A stupid goal to concede. Yeah, no idea why I ended up controlling the goalkeeper, but we are past that now because, yeah, at this point, I was like, yep, we won the game. Henricks again, he's he's filthy right now. He's playing amazingly, his performances. So you cannot doubt the signing of him, really. All our signings, um, yeah, having nice impacts, but, yeah, he's just having consistent performances of very good ratings, and we're top of the table. So, yeah, sitting pretty right now. Unfortunately, Jake Livermore has picked up an injury. He'll be out for three weeks. Hopefully, we'll be able to deal with that, but... If you guys did enjoy this, like I said, if you'd like to see uh, regular uploads, daily uploads of this series, and maybe sometimes double uploads, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.